Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am the Viking. Cheers. I'm sure you all have noticed that the Euphrates River is drying up. And I just recently put up a video that I found on YouTube where there's eerie sounds that sounds like a demonic cry for help coming from the Euphrates River. Now, there were angels, four of them fallen, that were bound. And as Joe Kirby put it in his most recent video about it, was given the longest prison sentence ever. And one of the final signs to the end is the Euphrates River drying up and those four fallen angels being released. Now what does the Bible say about this? In Revelation 9.13 and the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, 14, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. That was 915 of Revelation 16. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000. Thousand. <clears throat> and I heard the number of them. 17 and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of I hope I'm saying this right jacinth jacinth and brimstone and their heads and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. 18. By these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths. 19. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails for their tails were like unto serpents, and had heads, and with them they do hurt. 920. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, which is the works of iniquity, or the works of their sin, that they should not worship devils and idols or of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood which neither can see nor hear nor walk. 921. Neither repented they of their murders nor of their sorceries nor of their fornication nor of their thefts. And it sounds like we're getting really close to getting to this point. Now, 16, Revelation 16, 12 says this about it. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up. Sounds like what's going on right now. 
that they that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. 14. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of God Almighty. And that sounds a lot like the rise of the Antichrist, who we know has not been revealed yet, or so I don't think he has, but will soon, especially if the final prophecies are getting fulfilled now, which Euphrates drying up is proving that we are getting there. 15, and these are the words of Christ. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Now, keepeth his garments is talking about the armor of God, which is keeping in his word, in the faith, in preparing for the day of his return, and not, you know, just living each day in sin, but fighting against it and trying to overcome it through Christ and the Holy Spirit. And those who walk in the nakedness of their shame are those who openly walk in their sin and don't care and don't see any point in repentance. And I implore everyone that has not sought repentance, please come to Christ now. Repent because the signs are being fulfilled. In 16, and he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Now, I honestly believe that this is one of the final prophecies being fulfilled. I'm asking anyone who has not repented or that has one foot in this world and one foot in God's word and in the faith, please come to Christ completely before it's too late. It is actually worse to be lukewarm than it is to be ice cold. But at this point, it is better to be on fire for God. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. And please don't don't laugh this off. Please don't laugh off what you see on the news with the Euphrates River. Please take it as the warning that it is. Have a wonderful day.